Uh, we can start with a lot of prayer. Yeah. So I think uh, I'll ask Ma Maxwell to pray for us kindly. Okay. So I will like to end the last conference of this. We are going to have a little bit of this one. I'm going to pray for you guys. As you will share with me, I'm going to be fine. 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 Okay, thank you so much, Maxwell, uh, for leading us in the word of prayer. So today we are here uh, as the youth of SK St. Peter's. We are few, but we are representing the majority because we are going to share this video online so that uh, we have others benefit from this discussion. And generally, we are here to handle uh, a topic on Anglican doctrines. We want to understand exactly how Anglican runs, uh, how as youths of this church we are supposed to participate in our Anglican activities, and how in future we might be involved in running of the church. So generally we want to understand Anglican, uh, an overview of Anglican from uh, when a child is born up to when we, we are old age, and how we are supposed to participate in the activities of Anglican church. So, without further ado, I want to maybe uh, allow the meeting to kick off. So, maybe we'll start, with, uh, we'll start uh, from the first question, and maybe I'll start off uh, uh, as uh, the first uh, person to ask the question. So, Vika, karibu sana. Asante. sana kukua available. At least, kongea na asi mara ya We are really grateful for your time, and uh, we are happy to have you again. Uh, in this discussion. So from our, our discussion with other youths, we felt that uh, it's important for us just to understand the background of Anglican. How is it different from other denominations? Yeah. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I would start by saying I'm a proud Anglican. Anglican Church has made me the way I am. And I'm happy even to see young people also looking forward to know the church that shows they are not ready to move out. They want to serve there because it's a great church. Uh, Anglican Church is uh, the, the, the church that began after Reformation in England. When Reformation started in England, they came up with Anglican Church and it started there. And that's why you find, we say it's a, it's a communion, it's a communion. You go to England, you go to various countries, you find Anglican Church. Today, if I defect from Anglican Church, I wouldn't start an, a church and call it Anglican. No, it is well founded, it's not here, or here and there, it is one. And we say we are founded on the apostolic faith. We are founded on the apostolic. We have built up on the faith that was in the apostles. And so we are well founded. And that makes us unique from other denominations. That we are founded there. We are not shakeable. And so it's a great church to be in. That is the Anglican church. It is all over. And the, 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 it is headed by the Archbishop of, of Canterbury whereby where he is the Archbishop of England. So he is the, the senior most, if I may say, worldwide, the Archbishop of Canterbury. Then from there, every, every, every country has got its bishops according to the number of dioceses and all that. Yes. Okay, okay. thank you so much. So at least we, we have a farm, a farm church, if I, if I may put it in other words. So I'd like to invite Tiffany uh, just to ask a question if you have ladies first. Mm -hmm. So if I let the boys come in, maybe if you have a question, can you? I would like to ask important activities in Anglican life from birth to adulthood. Okay, thank you. Uh, in Anglican Church, uh, we have got right, rites of passage, if we may call them so, which begins after birth, up to death. So when a child is birth, I mean is born, we encourage the parents to come for dedication. We call it churching. 
Churching is not baptism, but churching it is a thanksgiving of the parents to God. Mostly it, it looks upon the mother and when we pray we say we thank you God because you saved this lady when she was given birth. You know when giving birth is a matter of life and death to be real. And so when the mother delivers safely, she has all the reason to come to the house of God and say thank you. There we also pray that for, to, for the parents so that they may bring up this child in a godly manner, in a godly manner. You know, when they dedicate the child to God, they, they would wish that child to, to be godly, you know. And so we pray that God may help them to bring up that child in a godly manner, to give them wisdom. We also pray that God may provide so that this child will not lack. And by doing so, that is the first thing we, we, we do when a child is born, we call it churching. After churching, that is when we do baptism. Baptism, and as I have told you earlier, baptism makes you a Christian. Because if, a cha if, a, if, a, um, uh, if the parents are Christians, and they have gotten a newborn, they, they would not wish to be inside and the child is outside. Yeah. And that is how we, the, our church came up with infant baptism. Yakwamba, we cannot be inside and our children are outside. We would like us to, to be all in the family of God. And that's why we find in the book of Acts when people like Cornelius were, 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 were converted, they were baptized, all of them together with their, their households. That is why we borrow that, that they were baptized with their households. And so after churching, we come to baptism. We encourage the infant baptism so that the child may become a Christian. From baptism, um, we, we, we go now to confirmation, whereby if you are an Anglican, and you have reached the age of 12, now you are no longer a, 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 an infant, you are no longer a child, you have become a grown-up. And so you, get, you want to be confirmed Agrican. You remember there was a question whether if you were confirmed in the Catholic Church, you can be admitted to Kayo, and I said no, you must be a confirmed Agrican. Being confirmed, the, the bishop lays his heart on you, and he commissions you that now you have become an adult, you can now go and serve in various uh, departments, in various uh, areas in your church. After confirmation, you can become a Sunday school teacher because now you know your church. You can read the Bible for yourself. You can guide a, a child who does not know the way you see. You can do the Bible reading there. You can preach. You can be elected to be a leader in a certain in in a various in in various departments, especially in Kayo and so on and so forth. So after that is when then when you are confirmed, now you are open now to go and receive the Holy Communion because you know its meaning. You know, mm -hmm. we 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 normally say we don't like taking the Holy Communion for granted and in vain. It cost Jesus his life to shed his blood for us. And so that's why he said, when we meet, we should share the bread, which is his body, and share the wine, which is his blood. And so after confirmation, you are opened now to, con to, to, to start partaking the Holy Communion because now you know good and bad. You can make choices. You, would, you wouldn't like to crucify Jesus again and again you see so that is where confirmation comes in after confirmation when one is confirmed i have said now you have become an adult in church if you are you are a, a, a young person below 35 years we encourage you now to be admitted to kayo kenya agrican youth organization so that you may become a member of Kayo. Kayo is an organization in the in the in the Nini, 
in the whole province of Kenya. Our church at the national level, we call it a province. Kenya Agrican Youth Organization. You are admitted to that organization so that you may work together with the other youth in the whole Kenya. In the whole Kenya, they have got their objectives, they have got their motto, and, and so on and so forth. They have got various activities which they hold in the course of the year in their diocese and also at the provincial level. If you are, if you are a, a lady, and you, after that, uh, maybe you, you are confirmed and you are, you, are, you are already married, we also encourage you to go to join the Mother's Union, Mother's Union, which only those whose their marriages are blessed in the church are allowed to join the Mother's Union. We also thank God that there is this fellowship which has come up, Agrican Women Christian Fellowship. Sasa hiyo imefunguriwa wa mama wote ambao, tuseme mama hako kanisani, that's why the, we were, we were um, uh, interviewing them and all that. They can join that, that fellowship so that they may continue serving without fear and with that they are accepted in the church. So if you are a man, you join Kama, Kenya Agrican Men. Kenya Agrican Men Association. Association, yeah, Association. Kama. So, na kama kuna hile kina ya watoto, watoto wa Sunday school. There are those who join brigade, lakin brigade they join ata kama hawajawe kwa mikono, wanapogojea kufikisha 12 years that they may join the catechism class. So those are the stages in our church. Na it is my prayer that as young people you may follow those Sasa sisi nini munaigizu wakayo, inamini ya kwamba mukifikisha umu ni mpate kukia kwenye doa mutafanya harusi, alafu tuwaigise kwa kama na Mother's Union, sindio? And then you serve God without fear. I would encourage you to remain in your church. In our church, we have all the freedom to serve. You can join the priest team, you can be a Sunday school teacher, you can be an usher, as long as you are a full member, a confirmed African. And above all, we also encourage young people to get saved. Kuokoka. Kuokoka ni kitu chamana sana, especially the times we are living in. Vijana ambao wako huko nje hawajajua na na Yesu, wako katika hatazi. Because they can do anything, they don't have boundaries. And that is why you find somebody is groomed even to, 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 to alcohol. is groomed to, to his madawa za kurevia and all that. Lakini mwenye akodani ya Yesu, hako na boundaries. He or she knows I cannot go build. Ata kama tuna socialize, I cannot go build this. And by doing so, you become a blessing to your parents. And God builds on our parents' blessings. If you, you, are, you, you are not in, a good, in good terms with your parents, don't think you would say that you will end up with your bear card or mungu akubariki. No. When we, we respect our parents, he builds on that. Our days be, become long. Cindy, our, life become lo our lives become long. All our days increase. And he continues opening doors for us in this life. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know. You... You are good, eh? So I just want to confirm with the vicar, because we have mentioned about churching and baptism. Confirmation comes at around the age of 12. Yes. But now in terms of churching, we find that uh, some people would want uh, maybe to come after two weeks after giving birth, others will come after four months. What is the average time that someone is supposed to come in? Same, same to baptism. When is a child expected as per Anglican expectation? What's the average age that a uh, child is supposed to come in for churching and together, as, together with baptism? Okay, good question. Uh, we, we encourage it to happen after three months. Three months. After churching. three months, the mother is now strong, the baby is now strong. In fact, we can even do it the same day we do churching and we baptize. After three months, the baby can be huddled okay. and she, she can, he or she can can, can, can persevere the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know the small babies are wiped. Mm -hmm. 
yes. lakini huyu mtoto wa miaka mitatu unaweza mwagia maji mm. yeah so after three months mm. it is well to be done yeah thank you so much for that clarification uh my friend max friend do you have a question yeah uh, you had talked about the de- departments in anglican church mm, yes. and on uh, my question is how how many how many departments are there and who is in charge of the departments okay we have got dep- like various departments because some are, are, are not limited by age like now TE and all that like now we have got to, to begin with the, the young ones we have Sunday school departments we call it children ministry department and it has got its head in the diocese we call him DCMC diocese Mm, children ministry coordinator that person coordinates all the activities of the children at the diocesan level he makes sure he makes sure there is training for Sunday school teachers the department is learning well there there is a syllabus to be followed for the children to be taught and he also in his in charge of everything to do with the children the brigade the, the Sunday school and all that. Then we have got the departments for the young people, the Kayo, mm-hmm. and we have got the DYO, the Season Youth Organizer. He is in charge of the of the Kayo at the Dalsesan level. Yes, from there at the Dalsesan level, those coordinators work on our side this wow at the HD corner level. I know we are coming to to the, how our church is land and all that. Because at the Dalsesan, Dalsesan is too big for one person to run a department in various, in the parishes are so many. So what happens, at the Dalsesan level we have got the DYO for the Kayo and then Akonawasaidisi Chiniake at the HD Konali level and at the parish level. At the parish level we have got our coordinator, like here we have got our brother James at the parish level. At the Chidikone level, sasa hapo inapewa mchugaji. Ili adiru na the other coordinators within the Chidikonari, wafikishia ujube from the Dauces. Ndiyo? Mm-hmm. From the Dauces. So, that is the Kayo. Tumesema tukona DCMC, huyo ni wawatoto. Tukona diwa heo, huyo ni wa, huyo ni wa vijana. Then we have got the, the, the Mother's Union. The Mother's Union, they, have, they also have got their coordinator at the diocesan level uh, and also we have got the kama coordinator at the diocesan level kama vile nimesema tukitoka kwa dauces tukona hd konare ambayo pia kuna wale wanasaidia wale wako juu ili waweze kufikisha ujumbe katika level yetu katika parish so we have got those four departments then tukona hii ya t ya t ni it we say it's uh, theological education by extension wale ni wale wanakuja wanachabua biblia wanasoma kuna vitabu ambavyo pia we have got the te coordinator at the dissertation level who makes sure kuna the reading materials ambazo zina flow kwa pale okia zetu for what to for people to to do bible study and also to to grow spiritually and in the TE department, the various uh, gifts are nurtured. People have grown from TE to become great preachers, even to become clergy, because they were nurtured at the TE department as they were studying various books Bible, by, from the Bible and also various topics concerning the, the way of life tuko na, na department ingine ambayo ni ya mission mission we have you go to the diocese you find a mission a mission coordinator he coordinates the missions he coordinates the the, the choirs he coordinates the, the the evangelistic teams kama kuna mission ya diocese yet yanapaga na hata juzi alikuwa ameita mission coordinators from our parishes wakaweza kupanga the, the activities which they will hold in the course of the year yes so it's like zimekuja saba uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 
six. Mm. So they are six. Yeah, I think even in the diocese we have got those six offices. Okay. Yes. And there's that one that you have just mentioned, Anglican Women Christian Fellowship. Yes, it is under Mother's Union. It's under Mother's Union. Yes. Um, maybe just to elaborate on uh, what uh, Maxwell has just uh, asked, because he has asked about departments. Uh, I'll, I'll also maybe want just to uh, uh, inquire on uh, the church management, uh, the hierarchy of uh, reporting. Uh, who is in charge of what? Starting from maybe we know the leaders are there. What are their functions, and then we come to vicar, and then from there I, see, I hear about canons, I hear about uh, the bishop. Mm -hmm. What are what are the hierarchy reporting hierarchy, and uh, uh, they are in charge of what? Okay. Maybe for the general knowledge of the youth. Oh, yeah. maybe we can begin from the top there yeah. as we go down to once and ah, you are mukubwa wakanisa letu at the national level, the provincial level. Na unajua those people ambao wako kwa catechism class mtashika kitu from the provincial level we have the archbishop the archbishop who is the head of the Anglican church in Kenya and he is the archbishop and we know we know him our archbishop is the we he's the, we address him uh, this way his chris the most reverend his grace the most reverend and then you put his name like now we have got dr jackson is a bit his grace the most reverend he is in charge of the whole province and he is he is our leader at the national level and we have privileged, we are privileged that he is coming to our diocese next month next month you remember he is the one who will climax the project today Yes. yes, and he'll visit even our archdeacon. And when you keep an amazing for Tanana Musafara, our bishop, yes, he'll visit our archdeacon at Atafungua Hikanisa, Yabaraka, Yabaraka, Yukini, Atafungua. So at the national level, we have got the archbishop. Then, because Kenya is so big, it is subdivided into various dioceses. There are 30 something, I don't know the exact number. But there are so many the dioceses. Like now, so we have the diocese of Nakuru. Mm -hmm. We have got the diocese of Nyamburu, Kericho, uh, Eldoret, Kitare, Mararal, Kapsa. But you can imagine one day those dioceses <coughs> were under one bishop, Nakuru. Alikuwa Mzungu, Alikuwa Naitwa Bishop Neville Smith. Lakini from there, the diocese of Nakuru has given birth to all those dioceses. It, is, it started with Eldoret. Eldoret Nathani Kasa Kitare. From Kitare, then Eldoret Pia Imeza Kapsabet. Then Nakuru Ikaza Nyahururu, Kaza Kerichi. Ari God, you to Meza Juicy. Nasasa Kuna Zigine, Kuna Mauti Kenya South, Douses of All Saints, Nairobi, Douses of Nairobi. By the way, Nairobi, Mrs. Seven Douses Moja, we have got All Saints Diocese. All Saints Pekayaki is a diocese. It's a diocese by its own, so it has got some other churches. There's a church in Karen, yeah. there's a church, the Guinness Jewish Community Church, and all that. Lakini see on Yinki has a Javika Kumi, but it's a diocese. But it is self Pekayaki, it's a diocese. The, the Diocese of All Saints, which is headed by the Archbishop, is the Bishop of All Saints. And then we have got the Bishop of the Diocese of Nairobi, the other parts of Nairobi, they have got their, their bishop. Kona kiabu, sikuizi ni kama sasa zimeingia na county. Yeah. Every county is an diocese yeah. and all that. Lakini kuigine si county, inategemea na the, 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 the vastiness of the diocese. There's, there are that is something. And also we have got the diocese, the military diocese. The, the bishop wa majeshi. Yeah, the, the, you know, the, as, as I told you earlier, the, the Anglican Church is the Church of England, and because they are the ones who colonized us, it is like the the uko kenda kwa majeshi the bishop the the bishop is an Anglican, yeah, is an Anglican. So they they run together with the other bishops under the archbishop. 
Yes. So the the person from the archbishop we come to the diocese. From the province we come to the diocese, and the diocese is headed by the bishop. Yeah. And how do we address a bishop? The right reverend. The right reverend, and then you put his name. Like now in Nakur, we say the right reverend, Doctor Joseph Mushai is our bishop. So we have got so many bishops according to the number of dioceses. Yes, from the diocese and level now, because the diocese is also so big, you can imagine like our diocese is from from my Mahio to to Koma Usangit, from Fryova to Uko Kampimoto Uko. So the, the, it can be so ta, 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 tasking to the bishop. And so the diocese is subdivided into various regions, which we call archdeaconaries. So archdeaconaries are headed by an archdeacon. Like now in Nakur, we have got, we have got seven, seven archdeaconaries. We have got the archdeaconary of Naivasha. We have got the, the Nakuru archdeaconary. We have got the Kabatini archdeaconary. Supuki Achidikonari, Kiamuni Achidikonari, we are where we belong. We have got Joro Achidikonari and Molo Achidikonari. So we have got seven Achidikons heading those Achidikonaries. And what is the title of an Achidikon? Venerable. Venerable. Like now, our Achidikon is Venerable Canon Paul Muli. Yes. So they, they help the bishop to run the diocese because the diocese is so big during our initial. In some other dioceses, wakiona achidiko na rinikubwa, kukona deans, rural deans, kuna rural dean na kuna urban deans. Maybe you can call them deans. If, if an achidiko na is big, it can be subdivided into deanaries. Deanaries are the ones which are headed by deans. But in Awanakuru, it's not operational. Hakuna rural dean ama urban dean. So from the achidiko na tunakuja kwa parish kwa parish ni kama hii yetu mm. parish na hii yetu msifikiri ati every church is a parish hapana kuna parish iko na kanisa kama saba ya kwamba mchungaji akiwa hapa sadi sadi hiyo ingine ako hiyo ingine ako hiyo ingine ako hiyo ingine lakini kionekana the church is stable and it's able to maintain a vicar inafanywa parish by itself so a parish is headed by the vicar vicar in charge of a parish. Are we together? Yes, yes a vicar. Then from the, the vicar heads the parish. And how do you address the vicar? Reverend. Reverend. Kama hapa ni mimi. Sasa from the, sasa na reverend, in every parish kuna re leaders. Re leaders wanasaidia vicar. Like now, to say the, 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 the parish has got deep, like five congregations, you know the vicar cannot be all over. So the readers are there to do the services. The kuna kazi tu yenye wanafanya ni ya kuhubiri. Wana, wana hubiri tu, wanaogoza ibada, wana soma masomo. They also do pastoral visit. Wanaeza teberea mkristo wakiwa mkojwa, ama wakiwa na shida, wanaeza kuenda kuoba na yeye. Lakini kazi hizi zigine kama za kubatiza. The readers can also do the churching. Si churching ni kushukuru. Yes, mshirika naeza kuja, aseme ni mereta mtoto wangu, tunataka kushukuru. The readers can do it. Lakini hii gine ya kubatiza ni ya mchugaji. Dio hiyo. Redida hata naeza delegatiwa na mchugaji aende kuzika mtu akikufa kama mchugaji hapatikani anaweza fanya hiyo. Yes. Um. Uliko umetaja canons. Canons, a canon is a, 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 a very noble title to be given. And I always say when I grew up, I would like to be a canon. It's an only title you go home with. Uh. And also, to be made a canon, it's not something uh, to be taken for granted. Canons, they are bishops and devices. And a canon is somebody who has been measured, scrutinized, and ameangaliwa na unekana huyu mtu unaweza kujipima nae. 
ya kwamba mimi kama wewe ni mkristo na una, ungetaka kujua ukamilifu wa, wa ukristo wako unajipima na yule kanon kwa sababu mienendo yake mambo yake imechunguzwa na inaonekana anafaa na diposa unasikia the other people who can advise the, the, the bishop on the learning of the church wamwambie hapa and they are the only people who can study when the bishop is talking maybe bishop alikuwa anaongea na kuna kitu amekumbuka ama kuna kitu ameona ni kama si sawa anaweza tu kusimama ili aweze ku guide the bishop on the way to learn the church so it's a it's a it's a supposed to be envied or a title to be envied or uh, it's a good thing to be made a canon we, we say it's like a measuring rod ambao unapima the straightness of something with yes a canon Have provost? provost is a vicar in charge of the cathedral. Like now here in Nakuru, we have got the provost of the cathedral. You go to various dioceses, you meet, you, you get a provost in the cathedral. And the vicar of the cathedral is called the provost. And how do we, how, how do we refer to him? The very reverend. The very reverend and then you put his name back. Now in our cathedral, we have got the very reverend canon. Joseph Theo is our provost. The very reverend is the title of the provost. The provost is a vicar of the cathedral. And the cathedral, why do we call it the cathedral? It is because it, the cathedral is the custodian of the bishop's seat. And the bishop's seat is the one we call the cathedral. That is seat at the cathedral which the bishop sits on. Provost hawezi kalia. Ama bishop mwingine akija kutebea hawezi kalia. Lakini bishop akija hapa. And hata kama si wa si, si wa hii dio, si diocese. Nina muondokea kiti. Nina muachia ile kiti. Kwa sababu ile it's just a representation of the cathedral. Na unaona nina ikaliaga because I represent the bishop in the parish. Mm. Lakini siwezi si we bishop wa I amin mean, mchukaji wa cathedral hawezi kalia that is the, the original cathedral that is the cathedral which is consecrated to be at the cathedral lakini hii mchukaji anaweza kalia kwa sababu anaakilisha anaakilisha bishop but it's not the cathedral mm. uh, thank you so, so much for that uh, maybe as a further just clarification we talked about uh, departments and I know our youth are going to uh, be admitted in the department on the fourth. Does it affect other departments or is just the uh, department being admitted? No, yes. admissions will be done to all departments. Not to all departments. For all departments. When the bishop makes his program and he says admissions kia mwenye achidi konari kuna wale wataigizu wakayo, kuna wale wataigizu wakama, mother's union fellowship hiyo ya wamama and all that. Na kwa sababu hawa wetu hawa jakwa nifistudi wambia you must be confirmed, confirmed agrican. Yes. So the bishop will start by confirmation. Hapa tukona Maxwell na tukona wale wamama ambao wanasoma na Maxwell. Watawe kwa mikono kwanza, harafu di wataweza kuikizwa kwa hizo idara zi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, what will be the venue for this year? St. Peter's um, St. Paul's Crater. Oh, Why did we change? Because compared compare the St. Andrew's Church and St. Paul's, mm -hmm. St. Paul's is big. Siko hivyo tukauna badala ya tutuweke matentis mnje tukamua tuwele kuchi St. Paul's Crater. Thank you so much for that. Uh, maybe just for the benefit of other youths in terms of the current department, we have a YO. Uh, maybe just a clarification on that. Kama vile ni the will be for the DYO to operate alone. Yes. So in the Archidicon level, amepewa AYO's Archidiconary Youth Organizer. Aweza kumsaidia at the Archidiconary level. So the AYO works with the parish coordinators. Coordinators wa hiyo Archidiconary from different parishes anafanya kazi nao wanakutana and they are able to implement whatever is required at the diocese and level. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for, for that. Uh, Winston, yeah. do you have maybe any question? Yes. 
Okay, okay. okay. I wanted to ask if you're not an Anglican and you wanted to join, what process will you undertake? And also, is it, do you take a long term or a short term? Okay, what we normally do, uh, only that sometimes it's not possible. When a, a new person comes, and maybe he or she has come from a different church, you know, every church has got its way of doing things. To say, I'm going to a Catholic. You go to Catholic, you'll be told there are seven or nine, seven or nine sacraments. And here, sit to me, I'm so what we, 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 we what is required is we, we begin a class for the new converts or the new members. Idi kama mtu alitoka hii kanisa ya majimengi anajua hii yetu iko na it has got protocol. It has got the liturgy and all that. You know we have got the prayer books and we have got those rites of passage about to meongelelea. Kuigine hakuna as long as you are saved you become a communicant. Wigine, they don't believe in baptism or na kwa majikidogo, lazima you be immersed. So you have to explain to that person why do you sprinkle people instead of immersing them in water and all that. So the thing that the, what is required is there should be a class for new people, for new Christians to come. Those who are Anglicans from different parishes or different areas, how hawana hadithi murefu, wanakuja tu, Una, una wasalimia, una wapokea na wanaendelea lakini kama walitoka makanisa mengine unawapeleka, una wanaweza kujua maana hata ya confirmation maana ya these departments then after that, if they have fully decided that they want to be agricants now they can join the catechism class you baptize them if they were not baptized but one thing we do we don't repeat baptism if you are maybe from fungu spell and you are baptized there and you are baptized using water and it's a church we know we don't repeat baptism but you, you now you go to church to confirm to to catechism for confirmation so that you may be confirmed by the bishop to be a full member an agrican member then from there you join the, the various departments, various departments. So, before, come on, if you were baptized and we know that church is a cult, we also baptize you again so that you may become a, a, a Christian, a good Christian. Yes. Uh, and if you know that church and you're confirmed there, can you still be confirmed when you come to this church? Uh, yes, you confirmed. The Bishop Agrican Church lays his heart on you and then you become a an Anglican. That's why you and also in the in the catechism class you get to learn more about the Anglican faith. Like and also the Christian faith. Like now I've just told these dear ones that the apostles creed and the Nicene Creed there we find the the, the summary of the Christian faith. Yes. Yeah. Are you are you are you okay? Do you have another question? Yeah, I have another question. Okay. Um, okay, what other beliefs in Anglican Church you will be aware of? Or okay, are they too many or too few? No, because as I said earlier, our our faith is summarized in the Apostles' Creed. Mm -hmm. We believe in one God, the Father. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son. We believe in the Holy Spirit and so the Trinity. Mm -hmm. And also our faith is founded on the apostolic on the apostles, on the apostolic faith. You remember the apostles? Yeah. How they were they were they were killed. They and we when we do the origin we say that the blood of martyrs is the seed of the church. Their blood became the seed of the church. So whatever they believed in. That is what we believe. We believe in the Bible. Everything is founded in the Bible. In, the Bible. in fact, that's why I like our prayer book. Because whatever we say there, what, whichever prayer we pray there, though we are using a book, it is founded in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Atuna mambo mengine ya kutafutiria, ya kutafutiria, ya. You just believe in God. <laughs> in God. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, maybe just to chip in the, the issue of the beliefs in the Anglican. Last time when you were here, you took us about the colors. 
that or the liturgical know. colors. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People may wonder why they, they, they just mark the church carreda, the church carreda of, of, of the Anglican church. Now it's not only the Anglican church, even the Catholic, they use the same colors. Atujachana sana na Catholics, lakini tunafika mahali, tunapoteano kwa imani zigine. But for the liturgical colors, we, we, we use the same colors. We have got the white, we have got the, the, the purple, the green, the red. Maybe to begin with red, the red represents the, the Holy Spirit and so we use it during the Pentecost Sunday. We also use it during celebrations. During the, the, the Palm Sunday, we use the red because we are celebrating a king. You know, Jesus entered Jerusalem as a king and so we use the red color. So the red is used during the Pentecost and also Palm Sunday na wakati mwingine tunaposherehekea kama siku ya harusi and all that. We have got the purple purple or um, purple or the good it's a royal color and we use it we, we use it during Lent. Wakati wa Lent tunatumia purple ambayo inaonyesha unyenyekevu, inaonyesha trauma and all that. We use purple during Lent. Then there is green. Green is normal kara wakati wa kawaida. Wakati wa kawaida tunatumia green. Yani green ndio tunatumia muda ule muda mrefu sana. Green tunaitumia it is the the, the, the ordinary kara. We have got white. White also is used is is, is used during the, the 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 Christmas to portray the holiness, the holiness of God. Na pia pia white inatumika wakati wa wote because our God is holy. Ukiende parokia na labda hawaja kuwa na uwezo wa kununua all these other colors wanatumia white. Kuonyesha utukufu wa Mungu. Okay, I've seen red we use for celebration. Mm -hmm. What about the church birthday? The church birthday? Yeah. Unajua hiyo ni yetu. Oh. It's not in the calendar, it's not in, 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 in other parishes. Hiyo ni yetu, so we can mm -hmm. use in the car. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have mentioned about black sometimes. Oh, black. Sasa yes. hiyo ni ya mavasi yetu. Mm -hmm. Mavasi, tunapa hiyo kasok. Black is, our, is the car, is the car which we use. It's a ordinary, it's a normal, kwa sababu, even during ordination, mm -hmm. the, the, nini, the deacons are, are robe in black. Mm -hmm. Na hata wakati wote tunaenda devastation event, uwa tunavaa hizo za black, na hii ya white. What we change maybe is only the stall, we can be told to use the red, the purple, and all. it depends with the occasion. Mm -hmm. Yes, lakini kama siku ya Good Friday, Tunatumia braki because it is a borise, sorrow and all that. Tuposa siku ya Good Friday, unavaa tuka soko ya braki. Okay. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Kuna mtu mwina kana kushani ya tukwe? About the clock water, just in the first stop. Into the store. Yeah. So is it a good, as you said, you may wear a green one? And so it is according to the similar to the way of the colors. Yes, the colors according to the character, the character mm -hmm. of the church. Mm -hmm. uh, it matches the table cloth. Okay. Uh. <coughs> mm -hmm. so, thank you so much. I think that marks the end of our uh, sessions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really want to maybe I make a comment on uh, Kayode, if you will allow, allow me. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we we have our Kai week that's starting on 6th, that's around one week, one and a half weeks to come. And uh, we are really grateful because uh, one, uh, our parents have accepted uh, to be with us. We have talked to some of our friends, we have talked to our youths, and uh, everyone is, uh, has accepted to be part of this uh, journey. We are intending to do some screens for the church. We are intending to digitize the church. So we are hopeful that uh, this time round we'll be able to get at least one or two screens uh, to be able to uh, get our hymn books, uh, the Bible verses that we read in church, uh, portrayed in the screens. So we are hopeful that uh, this year we'll be able to, our budget around 300,000. And I know it's big for the youths uh, and 
and uh, that's why we invited all, each and every family member of uh, SK St. Peter's to be part of this journey. So on that note, maybe I just welcome the vicar uh, because you are our mother figure in this church. So we want just to ask maybe you give a word or just say a word maybe for the Kaya week and the Kaya day if you have uh, so that we may be able to close. Thank you so much. I, I would like to say that if, somebody, if there is somebody who is proud, it's me because of you and people, the way you are doing your things. Since I came here, you have done much for the church. Thank you, Mr. Madegwa, for your good leadership. Uh, in fact, when I was filling my appraisal form, I, there is a place I said the youths want to digitize the, the, the church and what, how are we going to, to, to do it by supporting them supporting them and also mobilizing the Christians for their for financial support. So more as we mobilize and do all that, do the cards, source for the, the finances, I would also encourage you to, to put it in prayer. Prayer touches the heart of God. And when you pray, God is going to stir those men and women and they are going to support us fully. Well, if you are direct, I, I'll be happy to see on your wall even saying we are going not only to, to make the garden down there, but to pray for our youth week to be successful because it's only through prayer whereby we, we are going to, 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 to succeed. It's only through prayer we are going to encourage one another. We are going to read the word of God together because when we meet, we pray, we read the word of God, and then we venture to various activities. So I wish you well. I know it will be either for the last two years we have been able to meet our target, isn't it? Yeah. So even this year, our God is still on our side and we are going to, to make it. We are going to make it because we are, we are determined and God is holding our heart. So I wish you well. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your support and uh, everything that you are doing for us. So maybe I'd like to also invite you maybe to just give us a word of prayer just to close the session and also to pray also for the Kai and Kai Week and the, 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 the so let us. of Kai, Kai, Kai Okay, thank you so much and before we pray I want to thank you so much for this session and we God bless you even as we continue looking for the others to join us. Let us pray. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come before you this afternoon. We are grateful for your presence right here with us. We want to thank you for the session which you have just had with these dear ones. They are hungry and thirsty for your word and also to know their church. It's my prayer that you are going to help them as they serve you as young people. You are going to to, make, to help them, to give them strength and courage, even to overcome the temptations that come to that that follow the young people, because the devil is not happy when they succeed in this life. We also want to thank you because of this far. Thank you for the many projects that they have had in this parish, and even as they look forward to buying screens during their youth Sunday, they have got their target. I pray that you are going to help them. They are going to make it. They are going to hit their target because silver and gold belongs to you. I pray for all young people in this church, those who are within and those who are outside Nakuru. How I pray that you may bless them. You may continue extending their territories. You may continue opening doors for them and also help them. Never to forget this church where they have come from where they have been nurtured, never to forget their parents who have been there for them and so as they are being blessed, they may remember to come back and say thank you, supporting your work in this church. Thank you, Father, for this day we committed to you the remaining hours and to see it end, we shall be careful to thank you. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.